Hey guys, it's Ishani, aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So today I am doing a video I am so, so excited about. It has been a hot minute since I have been excited about an Urban Decay collection. Let me be perfectly honest with you guys. Urban Decay has been releasing a lot of hits and misses lately. A lot of their collections that look appealing quality-wise aren't always the greatest, but this was a collection I had my eyes on ever since Urban Decay announced it was coming out. And that was for two reasons in particular. Number one, I thought the artwork of this collection and the whole idea, the premise behind it was so unique, so different in a world right now, or at least in a makeup world, where all we're seeing is colorful rainbow unicorn mermaids. This was such a different take on makeup and number two not only was it different for what we're seeing now but I almost felt like this was a little bit of like a flashback to what Urban Decay used to do and what the Urban Decay line used to consist of so today we are going to be talking about the whole Jean-Michel Basquiat collection by Urban Decay as you guys can see here I have the whole vault to show you guys today I was one of the lucky few to actually get my hands on the vault. There has been a lot of controversy regarding this collection for two reasons in particular. Number one, this vault for some reason was just very, very limited edition, incredibly hard to find. I don't know if they made like 20 of them or what the situation was, but basically it doesn't seem like a lot of people were lucky enough to get their hands on it. And since I was one of the lucky few, I thought that I would come on here and and do a full in-depth review, show you guys all of the pieces of the collection and let you know which portions I think are actually worth your money. And the second reason this is a controversial collection is just based on the fact that it is based on Basquiat's art. And if you guys know anything about the artist himself, he actually had a really strong message that he tried to get across in his art. And a lot of it kind of, I guess, goes against a makeup collection. Unfortunately, Basquiat passed away quite a while ago and he was very, very young when he died. He died of a heroin overdose, which is another reason why people have just been kind of um, iffy about this collaboration because we all know that Urban Decay uses a lot of drug references and kind of, you know, cheeky things like that as names for some of their products. So people feel like it's in a little bit poor taste. I guess my personal views on that don't really matter matter one way or the other, but I do think that I guess exposure is exposure. And if this is the way that Basquiat's art is kind of getting exposed to the masses so people can hopefully learn a little bit more about him and what he stood for and stuff. I think that's a good thing. Obviously the collaborative nature behind this collection and the theme of it really has nothing to do with the quality of the products, which is what we're going to be talking about today. I will be showing you guys all of the products. I'll show you guys full swatches, let you guys know what I think of everything in this collection. So first off, I do want to talk a little bit about the packaging of the collection. It is really, really cool. It's very different. It's definitely not going to be everybody's style, but like I said, I mean, everything in the makeup world right now just feels like it's so girly, and I feel like this is just such a different take on makeup nowadays. Even the packaging of like the palettes themselves, super, super cool and they all do have these little hanging tag things if you wanted to hang them on your wall which you know I don't really think that's something that most people are going to want to do because it does say like UD slash Jean-Michel Basquiat but it is just kind of it's kind of cool because let's be real most of us are not going to be able to ever afford any original paintings by Basquiat so it's just kind of cool that you have it on your makeup and like I told you guys earlier just the overall style of this collection I feel like does kind of coordinate with Urban Decay because of some of the stuff they used to do. I pulled out this palette that is an Urban Decay palette. It came out 
probably about eight years ago now and I kept it just because I felt like the artwork on here was so cool. This is the kind of kind of gothic, really interesting stuff that Urban Decay used to release. I honestly don't even remember what this palette was called, but in case you guys were wondering how it looked, it was a really, really cute little palette and I kept it because I loved the artwork and this kind of sort of like gothic, funky artwork really reminds me of old school Urban Decay. So jumping right into talking about the Basquiat collection in particular, there are quite a few different products offered in this collection. There are two eyeshadow palettes, one cheek blush palette, three eyeliners, and three lipsticks. So let's go ahead and jump into discussing the two eyeshadow palettes first and foremost. This is what the two palettes look like. They are laid out differently because one kind of has a vertical layout and one has sort of a horizontal layout. Here's a close-up look at the first shadow palette we're going to talk about. This one is called the Gold Griot palette and one thing I did want to quickly say is the packaging of all of these products is actually like a canvas. So it's a very very unique texture to it and then the palette itself kind of pops open it is magnetically closed it has a mirror up here and then you are getting eight shades and you're also getting a double-ended brush right here so now this shadow palette you guys can obviously see is a very very neutral shadow palette so here are swatches of the entire gold griot eyeshadow palette from left to right we have enigma levitation not for sale sucker punch influence bk pseudonym and crown for the most part the pigmentation on this palette is really good the only shades that needed to be built up were the first two shades the light matte shades and then sucker punch which is that fourth shade in all of the other shades were really really beautiful very pigmented very blendable easy to use overall i really do like this eyeshadow palette i don't necessarily think any of the colors in here are super unique but I was very very surprised in a good way at the pigmentation and the texture it really does remind me of old school Urban Decay shadows like the ones we all know and love the ones that were consistent pretty much across the board now the other eyeshadow palette in the Basquiat collection this one is called the Tenant eyeshadow palette so you guys can see the way this one looks like I said this one is horizontal it pretty much has the exact same layout you still have a mirror up here and then again you have eight shadows this palette is obviously your bright palette the one that has the pops of colors the one that I was personally inspired by for the eye look that I have on today you guys can see I have this bright cobalt blue on my lower lash line and I love it so here are swatches of all of the shades in the tenant eyeshadow palette from left to right we have studio 1960 neo less graffiti Exu, Boom, and Untitled. Pretty much all of the shades in this palette were really, really good. The only two that I did need to build up a little bit were the Purple Neo and the Lime Green in Exu. Those were the two that did need a little bit of building, but they still work well once you build them up. Between the two eyeshadow palettes, I will say that this one is my favorite just because of the color selection of it. Each of these eyeshadow palettes retails for $39 dollars a piece and I think if you were looking at one of them definitely go for the tenant palette it has very unique shades excellent quality for the most part and I really liked it okay now let's go ahead and discuss the one cheek palette that was launched in this collection this is called the gallery blush palette and here is the outer packaging of it I think it is absolutely stunning very similarly laid out with the little crown here and then opens up has the mirror and then you're getting four cheek products you're getting two blushes one highlight and one bronzer in this palette so here are swatches of all of the powders you're getting in the gallery blush palette from left to right we have x-rated now's the time jawbone and noho the two blushes and the bronzer in this palette are all matte but of course the highlight does have a good amount of shimmer to it the texture of the powders in this palette do really remind me of the urban decay afterglow powders like the afterglow blushes and the highlight i think the highlight is by far 
far the standout of this palette but I really really do like the NoHo blush as well that's actually the blush I'm wearing on my cheeks today although I wouldn't say that any of the colors in this palette are super super unique or something you've never seen before and the texture you know is really good really soft smooth blendable nothing to complain about I wouldn't necessarily say that this is a must-have product this palette retails for $34 and I do really like it I think if you are looking for more blushes and highlights and bronzers in your collection you might want to look into this but on the whole I wouldn't say anything about this product in particular is super unique now let's move right into discussing the three shades of the 24 7 glide on eye pencil that Urban Decay released in this collection these retail for $20 each I think the eye pencils are some of the strongest points of this collection because all three of the colors are absolutely beautiful they are very unique to my personal eye pencil collection and I can see me actually using all of these colors especially for the summertime this first shade we have is called post punk and this is a beautiful bright lime chartreuse green with a matte finish next up we have the shade anatomy which is such a unique kind of rusty reddish orange with a matte finish and then finally we have vivid which is a beautiful bright slightly turquoise blue but it doesn't have too much green in it it is still a true vivid blue shade because all three of these pencils do have a matte finish you can use all of them on your waterline without worrying about irritating your eye or anything I think these are gorgeous gorgeous colors shades like I said I don't have in my collection already which is rare to find so I'm really really happy with these and the final pieces of the collection are the three lipsticks that are included these are the lipsticks in the vice lipstick formula which you guys all know I am completely and totally obsessed with the urban decay vice lipsticks are some of my favorite lipsticks on the market they are so so good and these each retail for 17 dollars a piece you guys can see that the outer casing on all of these is different which I think was just such a nice touch I do think all of the little details that Urban Decay put in this collection were really really nice jumping right into the colors the shade that comes in this white packaging here is called abstract and this is a cream finish it is a medium light creamy nude color there is no shimmer in this shade at all and it is the the color I'm actually wearing on my lips today and I just wanted to show you guys that even though it does look like a lighter nude it still works on my skin really nicely the next shade which comes in this beautiful like blue packaging this one is called epigram and this is another cream finish shade it is a gorgeous creamy reddish brick color I think this one is going to be the most popular shade out of all three just because I think it's a really unique unique color I really love it and then the final shade which comes in this black packaging this one here is called exhibition and this is a comfort matte finish which you guys probably know is my favorite finish from the Urban Decay Vice lipsticks this is a beautiful magenta fuchsia pink color it does have just a splash of purple in it which makes it basically everything that I love in a lipstick comfort matte finish a little bit of a purpley pink still pretty bright and really really gorgeous so out of the three lipsticks I definitely think epigram is probably the most unique shade and it is just such a cool reddish creamy brick color I highly recommend that one alrighty guys so there we have the entire Jean-Michel Basquiat collection reviewed in terms of the things I personally recommend. I really, really love the Anatomy 24 7 Glide On Eye Pencil. I think this is such a cool, unique shade. I'm also personally very inspired by the Tenant Eyeshadow Palette. I cannot wait to start using this even more for the summertime because of these brighter shades over here. And then, of course, the Epigram Lipstick, which, like I said, the most unique shade out of all three and a beautiful, beautiful formula. So, there we have it guys those are all of my thoughts on the full Jean-Michel Basquiat collection by Urban Decay 
Overall, I think Urban Decay did an amazing job. The packaging is A plus in my opinion. The quality of the products for the most part was really, really great across the board. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. In case you guys didn't know yet, I did start my own makeup line. I will go ahead and put a link for you guys to shop up here. In case you guys aren't subscribed to my channel yet, there is a link right there. But that is everything. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in my next video on Monday. I will see you then. Bye!